I'm not doing well, well on this outro thing, am I? Hey folks, welcome back to Pikmin 2 Let's Play by Aaron Zona 112. Last episode, we finished off Submerged Castle and defeated the annoying Water Wraith by simply throwing a Pikmin at him. In this episode, that's not what I was hoping for. Uh, okay, I want you to go down. We were doing this annoying little puzzle last time, which I completely got wrong. Come on. Come on. Why won't you go over there? Hey -ya. Thank you. Right, you guys. On here. Please don't tell me you fell off. Nope. Okay. Which one is it now? Not that one. No, it is this one. Is it? It is this one. Well, this one's a go up. Okay. Finally made it. Thank God that said 20. I thought that said 30. Now we can move the treasure. We have done that little puzzle, and all they do is simply fall off the side. 75, 24. Missing one. We're missing one, aren't we? I think I know where. Yep, I see them. You're gonna go that way, aren't you? Okay. I'm gonna quickly grab the Picnim and. Which is somewhere. Did I grab him? Must have been. I think I'm cleared out the danger from that area. Yep, I've got him. 64. 70, 30, yeah. We're not going to make it, I don't think, but at least we've moved it from that annoying thing at the back, anyway. Connect here. Hey, we ain't going to make that in time. Well, we can certainly take out these annoying bugs. I like, might be able to get one or two of these berries back. Take them out. I'll take these back anyway. We'll see how we do. No, you don't. I doubt we're going to make it, but we'll take them as far as we can. If we have to abort them, we will abort them. Ten. We've got 10 on that, we got 30 on that, so that's 40, that's 50, that's, hang on a minute, that's 40, oh there's the other one, oh, that makes sense. 5, that one will make it, these two will not. You have to abort, I'm afraid. Damn it, right there. We still haven't got the big jingle tune yet. That vi the last, by the way, the last video uploaded successfully. Well, rendered anyway, and whatever you want to call it. Didn't corrupt, that's the word I'm looking for. Girl. Water. Where? Wally Wog trying to attack our ship. Thank you. Up, up, and away. Doing well today, we got the first noise maker, that's a good start. 49 on the enemies. I think, I think. Down! Oh dear. So, battle 9, explosion 2. What was the explosion on now? Uh, I think that was the explosive dweevil. The suicidal dweevil. Button. Okay. I'll show you the uh, the Dweevil in a second in the Pikipedia. Alamar, you'll soon be promoted to manager. Only a small bit of the debt remains. You've done a great. As have I. No one dodges debt collectors like I do. I'm a pro. So. Bobbin! There's a little Bobbin. 
Robin. Parasix. Pig. What? Pig minis. Pignin family. A loathsome creature, in fact, a parasite form of pignin has infected a ball ball. Unlike pignin that nest in onions, this parasite spends its life inside the body of a host, usually a ball ball. Juveniles fall in line and make the actions of their parents until maturing into a full dependence, by burying its root like limbs into the nervous system of the host ball ball and fusing it with natural hormone extraction. The ball ball is able to control virtually all the host's body it functions. However, the host where its appetite seems to be possible to suppress. Like I don't. Basically, it's a bomb with a leaf. Careening dirigi bug. Volatile dweevil, or probably known as the suicidal dweevil, is basically a dweevil with a bomb rock on its head. Would it explode? That's all it does. Boom. And we have the Adone Beetle. The Yellow Dweevil. Or, as you want to call it, the Electric Dweevil. And of course, the dreaded Water Wraith. Which killed four. Unknown family. All that's known about this creature is sims from a few sightings deep underground or reported sightings feature the same core set details a giant ferocious form of a clear hazy sheen, not unlike hard candy. One theory holds that it may be a plasmatic incarnation of some kind of physical phenomenon, but it's usually the case with such theories. It is very difficult to prove all witness reports are suddenly overcome with fear upon sighting the creature. Approaching state of panic and near insanity. In fact, every report can contains the original amount of extremely vague details which led to suspicions that the exhaustion of fear caused by simple natural phenomenon is viewed as a living creature. So you'll notice folks, this area is actually part of the perplexing pool. It is the water area where the final ca cavern is in the background if you can just about see it. Thank God that the water earth is not running around in the perplexing pool. That would be terrifying. Treasure. Cookie. Got an area selection. Okay, we've done this much castle. Everything is accounted for. Above treasure, we could do that one. Reckoning wood. We could do the snuggler hole next. I think we'll do the snuggler hole next. Cavern. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to quickly go back to the perplexing pool, grab the treasure, and then we'll go back to the awakening wood. So, I will skip ahead to the gathering of the, well, one or two of the treasures, and then I'll meet you in the awakening wood. Hopefully the treasure is still there. Oh, nice. Okay, folks, I will skip ahead and I will meet you in the Awakening Wood. So, I will see you later, folks.